Hey, welcome back to another video, another morning here on Malulabar Beach for a lovely little sunrise shoot. Last one before I go back to work. It's getting tougher to fit three shoots in in five days. I've got to work out a plan for that. But anyway, we out, I've got the 24mm 1.4 EF lens on. That should be plenty. It's still, still got the stars out, but I can just, already it's an hour before sunrise, only five o'clock. Sunrise until six, but you already I can see some orange glow coming across the horizon. So I haven't got long to sort of go and find something. There's some little rocks and water flowing over here from the waves. Tides coming in. Should be a beautiful morning. Anyway, let's go see what we can find and see if we can get a nice maybe a couple of shots if we're lucky. Maybe one, two, and uh, yeah, nice and cool. It's been hot all week. We had like two or three days where it was mid high thirties, bit of a heat wave come through, sort of ended winter early. But uh, that nice cool breeze this morning <laughs> is such a relief. So it's always nice to get a, a bit of breeze coming through after no wind for like two or three days. So it's been really nice. But well, it is really nice now. It, it hasn't been very nice at all. Righto, let's uh, hit that intro and go and see what we can find. Righto. Okie doke, so found a, found a shot I like. This little channel just down here in front of the camera. Looking off into the sunrise, there's a cloud bank over the sunrise so that the gold's coming behind it. I do have to be careful of the waves, they are coming up and wetting the bottom of the tripod so I've got to be careful and there's like a wave just here. And just using a little bit of light painting. Uh, eight for the second to get that uh, for that right water movement and that seems to be pretty good from the first few shots just a matter of getting the light right amount of light without going too hard and here comes a big wave now and just timing it right Like that, that's the tricky ones you gotta watch out for. <laughs> the big waves that you don't expect. Very cool though, good, great little spot, great little comp. Having that color in the, in the horizon, the top little third of the shot. Comes out pretty nice. And that was a good one, I got a wave there. Oh, a massive, <laughs> oh, that's massive. So yeah, getting some good little shots. Uh, again, with waves, it's all about timing and trying to get that timing right. Uh, obviously tricky, you got the daylight in the background, I'm trying to get some detail out of the rocks. Got my little uh, Nanlight, I think it is. Yeah, Nanlight, little tube. It's a nice softer light. So it's not as harsh and, I, and it's got a, a fair bit of adjustment on it and it lasts forever. So it's sort of good in that regards. And just taking my ISO down, I'm at 250 now. And keeping that, I want that eighth of a second for the water, so I want to try and keep that as long as I can. And get some of that water movement. Hence, I've got to have that light there for the rocks in the foreground. You might not have been able to see them, but a couple of little kayakers going past. Beautiful morning. Uh, heaps of runners around. And uh, some really good water movement coming through. So, just got to keep taking shots and just see what I can get. So, uh, and just uh, keep an eye on your camera. It's uh, a bit of water splashed on there. So, I've got the Clean the lens as well. Make sure that's spot the dog. And I've just got the thongs on today. Nice casual day with me little buddy. He's sitting over there relaxing, watching silly old dad take photos. 
he's enjoying the sunrise. I don't know who's a smarter person. <laughs> but yeah, a lovely morning nonetheless. And yeah, really enjoying it. Nice and flat, so if you're gonna do anything, keep an eye, check for waves before you move. Obviously, you don't wanna come when there's a big set coming, because otherwise, that's, that's when you can get uh, caught out and lose your camera. And we don't want that for anyone. Okay, so here's the second little shot, and you can see what I'm trying to get is all these beautiful shapes here on the rocks, and then with that glow in the background, you sort of see that horizon. Horizon, nice little top quarter, I guess, and then all that beautiful colour coming and splashing across the rocks and the water reflecting. Now, I didn't bring the polarizer because I've obviously, well, I, I want that reflection this morning, so. So what I am gonna, what I am having to do is use a. You can see it's sort of pretty dark down here, and then just give myself a little bit of light here without, because I've got to be careful of those highlights in the red on the histogram. You can see the histogram off to the right. I've got to protect those highlights on the top section. The shadows we should be able to bring out, and with this light, I can get a little bit more of the shadow depth. So I'm up to f 4.5. So 5.6 now to keep that red in the RGB histogram below the peaking, so we're not going to blow out any highlights. And, and you can see what that does is keeps a gorgeous orange glow over the top. Obviously down here is now dark, so what we have to do is that with that nice good soft light, uh, it's up fairly high because I'm, uh, it's about 90% now, probably go down to 80%. And, just, uh, you can see the difference it makes on those first little rocks down the bottom. And then uh, we'll take a shot there. And you can see it's come up pretty good. Plenty of colour down here so I can get those shadows out and it's that light, that we're following that light off into this, this uh, horizon. You can see uh, Point Arkwright Lighthouse over here coming out on the spit and the apartment buildings and stuff there, so we get a little bit of uh, subject matter in the background to, to keep the eye following off into the distance into that beautiful golden morning glow. So yeah, it looks really good. I might even do a long exposure here now. I might crank up the aperture and then change my speeds because I'm not getting the splashing on the rock, on this, on this little rock down the front here, but I am, so I'm able to do maybe a long exposure. So I'll set that up and I'll come back and we'll have a look at that photo and see what the difference is. So that's working pretty good. So I'm now at, you see it here, water's not really smooth, so maybe not the best. That one just here. Just get those waves and the water on that rocks. Doesn't really give it the flow. Might be a little bit better in, in uh, Ooh. That might be alright. If you a bit of a wave set coming through, we might try and get a few shots. That water receding. That looks alright. That one here. Water running off. Yeah, so it's tricky. Bit of timing, but it's, it's probably not slow enough. I probably do need a like a 64 ND or something in there to slow it down enough to get that to get that water flow right out. But it's not too bad if you come in. If I come in and zoom in, there's a little bit of movement around those rocks, which should be all right. But uh, now the rocks here are sort of pretty perfect. That's at f22, so everything's going to be sharp, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Probably not really the best. That first shot looks really good, that one with the little channel. But uh, yeah, audio. Oh, yeah. We'll see what else we can find. Might do some handheld stuff now. We've got a bit of light.
Yeah, so I want to have a look at this little waterfall. Well, it's a little, little crack. This, it's got a little waterfall just coming over here. A little slippery. I've got to go handheld. I've got to watch these waves. When the waves come over, you should see it by now. Just come through here, down through that crack. So it's pretty good, 24 mil. So wide, vertical, and having that flippy screen makes a big difference here because I need to, A, get down low enough and get this water here and thing, and watch out for here. And watch out for those ones. So I can't do that with the tripod. <clears throat> I've got to be careful. I've already been wet once <laughs> when I was having a look at it. But you get the right amount of wave come over, it's really, really nice. So keep the lens clean. When that water comes over, so get me focus. I'm sitting at 6.3 aperture, eight for the second, obviously, for that water flow. And then ISO 100. The light's pretty much up. The colour's sort of gone, that gold's sort of gone. It's maybe a little bit more once the sun gets right up, which is in oh, about another 15 minutes. But I don't think it will get much because it's behind a cloud, so it may come through. A little bit of a wave coming through here. We might be able to get something. Just getting my, I've got my level on. Just give myself enough room. to get a shot and then if I need to crop out whatever because obviously it's going to be on a bit of a tilt it's not going to be level so what I can do is give myself enough room being wide on the 24 getting what I want in there and then I can realign it and get it nice and straight in Lightroom so that that again is why it's good to have sometimes have a bit of wide Always oh, going. Some good waves coming through. Perfect. And it's all about having these not these beautiful rocks sharp, and then having that water flow. and then getting your timing right, being ready to go. Now I don't have image stabiliser on the EF24 lens. So that's something also you gotta be aware of. Um, but at eight for the second, you've got the, R, the R6 at Mark II, pretty good in body stabilisation. So eight for the second, I can still, hold, I'm comfortable, I can hold it fairly still. I still get the shot. And again, that's why that flippy screen is good because you can. Woo! You get those. Lots of water movement, lots of bubbles, pretty cool. And because that sun's coming sideways, those rocks are getting really nice light. Just check through. Yeah, got some really nice shots. Little bits of color in there too. Crank up that aperture now and try and get some of that light back in there. Even if your rocks are a bit dark, once that white water comes across, it's going to reflect the skylight. So you should still be able to get a bit of the shadow. So don't be afraid to go a little bit higher on your aperture because that's going to, once that white water comes off, again, that's going to be like a, a light reflector or a, a little light reflector. It's going to reflect that light back onto the, A onto the rocks and then also give you that contrast in the shot you might be after. We've got a shot coming here. I'm up to F13 now. Trying something a little bit different. And 
and the, and exactly that that white water reflects it light onto the rock so you get those shadows back a couple more here and I think we're probably going to be done I reckon Fantastic, awesome. Very happy. All right, Austin. Oh. Let's show you the back of the camera so you can see what I've got oh, without shaking. So you can see all that movement coming through there. A little bit lower aperture there. So I've got the lights, I've got a few options. Being the 24 mil, it's wide enough to give you a little bit of room. So if you have to adjust and get that levels right. And then crop, you've got plenty of room to do that. Cool bananas. dusted for another week well a little bit of light to assist us in those shadows not to paint it in there we didn't want to paint just just to give us a little bit just to to bring out those details I guess is more all we needed one of these for and it and it did a good job uh, also what we can do with those shadows is when you're at the beach and you've got that white water coming through and you're doing that that sort of wave or rock shots that white water acts as, as I said in that last shot when I was doing that handheld shoot, it acts as a reflector. So that's always, remember that in the back of your mind. You get that beautiful reflection. You can see here that sun's just coming through the clouds and uh, that looks pretty spectacular. A little bit of rays, just fighting the clouds to get through and brighten all everyone's day. Time for us to get home and have a feed and uh, get Jack ready for school and me to get ready for work. But uh, yeah, so yeah, work on those shadows. Remember that white water's your friend for reflection with that, that sunrise. Uh, one of these, if you just need to bring your detail, something adjustable like this, uh, doesn't matter what brand, but something you can, that's, that's got a really nice light to it, powerful, and you can infinitely adjust. This is really good in that regards, and it's quite handy and small. I can shove it in my pocket. It's magnetic on one end, but yeah, it doesn't have to be anything of like that, just a just something just to help you with those shadows remember we've got to protect those highlights with the sunrise that's the tricky part and yeah that's about it go check out the website uh, some new photos up there merch there's a new Under Armour polo I put up with the logo these caps heaps of prints uh, if there's anything as always if there's anything ever you want special just let me know and I can, I'm happy to get that put up there or do you something special just get in contact with me radio I will talk to you all next week stay safe Peace. Thanks.